thing. Yes, sir. But he okay. no let's way. Uh, see if we can call this meeting to order. Can I have a motion to call the meeting to call, order? We call the meeting to order. Have a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 That's the only pocket. Can we baby. start with the Pledge of Allegiance, please? Yeah. Yeah. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Thank all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Carried. Okay. So tonight, let's see. Okay. So we have a. Debbie, do we open a public hearing first, or you can read the description, read the description first? Okay. So what we have here tonight is application ZB 24-001. The applicant is Fabio and Jennifer Caparelli, 23 West Redoubt Road, Fiskill, New York. Tax Pat Marcel number, parcel number 625603-427354. Sony District is R20.59 acres. The applicant is seeking the following variance for the construction of a 282 feet plus or minus square foot addition on the east side of the existing residence. A right yard setback of five feet, where 20 feet is a maximum a minimum setback in the R20 zoning district. Said variance will result in a 15 foot right yard setback. Said request is in violation of Town of Fishkill Town Code, Section 150-48, Schedule of Regulations for Residential Districts, 150, Attachment 1. Uh, at this time, I'd like to call for a motion to open a public hearing. Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Okay. Would you like to come up and speak? Sure. Just to give us a little update on where you guys are at. Sure, absolutely. So I'm Steve Whalen, Whalen Architecture, we're the architects for this project, and I'm representing the owners of 21 Readout Road. Um, and just as you described, we're looking to do an addition on the east side of the residence, approximately 282 square feet. Uh, we did take a look at this. We were trying to avoid the variance, but with the layout of the floor plan, if we were to march that addition so it's on the west side of that setback line, we don't have the room for like the bedroom and the bathroom layout and the office layout that we're trying to accommodate here. So hence, we're seeking the variance so that we get the layout that's gonna work with the owners and that we were not gonna get, you know, much closer to the property line. Okay. Um, anybody from the public have any comments or questions? On the west side of the house is also where our driveway is, so we wouldn't be able to build that way. And then also we can't build forward. And going south, so going towards the back of the house, is where our septic tank is, so we can't okay. go that way either. So this is, seems to be like the only viable option for us. Okay. Anybody else? At this point, I think, do we close the public here? Yeah, unless anybody has any questions uh, of the applicant or any further information they, they want. Don't okay. have any objections. No, we've spoken to them. Actually, this is one of my neighbors. Okay. Well. I can't see you. There's Sorry. <laughs> 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 okay, so nobody's really got any questions? No. no? Okay. I guess we need a motion. Close the public hearing. Make a motion. Close the public Second. hearing. Second. All in favor? Okay. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. I guess that's close the public hearing. All right. So. David, where do we go from here? Yeah, so um, the hearing's closed. Um, you know, what you should do is consider the five factors. The balancing test is guided by the five factors. Talk about it. And, um, and then if you're ready to uh, entertain a motion at the conclusion of your discussion, you can do that. Okay. Can you take us through the five factors? Sure. Thank you. Yeah, so it's, as uh, uh, you all know, it's a balancing test. You're weighing the benefit to the applicant uh, against the detriment to the health, safety, and welfare of the community. And that's guided by the five factors. The first is whether an undesirable change will be produced in the character of the neighborhood or a detriment to nearby properties caused by the variance. Does anybody have any comments or discussion on that? 
anybody think it would cause any detriment or uh, in any of the uh, negative uh, undesirable changes? No, no, I don't think so, no. Okay. Um, the next factor is whether the, um, the var whether the benefits sought can be achieved by any other feasible means. Anybody feel like there's any uh, feasible alternatives? No. I think, I think they covered it pretty well. Mm -hmm. yeah, I yeah. think that's covered. Yeah, that's okay. Um, the uh, next one is whether the variance is substantial. And you know, substantial is not just measured in terms of um, you know, numbers of feet or percentages. It's substantiality connected to a negative impact, typically. No. I, mm -hmm. I, I don't think so. I mean, uh, this is one of the smaller variances yeah. that we've looked at, really. Right. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the fourth factor is whether there's be an adverse effect or impact on the environmental conditions or any physical conditions in the neighborhood or district? Doesn't seem so. No. Okay. No. And the last is whether the difficulty is self-created. And, and self-created is spoken of in the context of, you know, um, uh, not necessarily the layout, but are you aware, were they aware when they acquired the property? And at the time that they're making the application as to whether this is, um, you know, prohibited by the zoning, it can be influenced by a number of other factors. But typically, um, in a situation like this, it would be considered self-created. But self-created in an area of variance context is not determinative as it would be in a use variance context. Yeah. I think most of them are self-created. They're all self-created. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, obviously, it sounds based upon the discussion that uh, the board is headed towards a, uh, you know, uh, view, viewing it favorably. So now, if there, it would be right for a motion to approve or to grant the variance uh, sought. The question is: Is there any other conditions that someone would like to place on that? Is there any, you know, a anything at all? Typically, we have standard conditions on grants such as compliance with all their laws, rules, and regulations, payment of all fees, compliance with the plans submitted. Those, those three would be, you know, would pretty be embedded. Much pretty much standard. Standard. Is, if there's any other condition that you'd think that you'd want to impose, you can talk about that now. Anybody have any other conditions? No. no. I mean, pretty set, straightforward. Very reasonable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. not outlandish. Okay, I don't think we have anything. Can we get somebody to make a motion? Yes, it'd be a motion to approve the variance. Somebody, the, the motion would be a motion to approve the variances on those uh, those three standard conditions that uh, that I mentioned. I just made, yeah, made second. a motion to approve no, second. the variance. Do I second? Okay. okay. So, uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Motion carried. Okay, then if you could also entertain a motion to direct me to prepare a resolution consistent with the, that vote and the proceedings here tonight, and then to authorize the vice chair to sign that resolution if he finds it consistent with the uh, proceedings here tonight. Anybody make that motion? I'll make the motion to proceed and for you to sign. And I will second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Carried. Okay, David, I think we're set on that, right? Yeah, that's it. All right, great. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Next only Board of Appeals meeting scheduled for Tuesday, May 21st, 2024. About. I'll let you. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Okay, with a deadline date of Tuesday, May 7, 2024, by 2.30 p.m. Um, I think we need a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Yes. Second. Make a motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Pass. Let's go home. Oh, hey, bud. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, <laughs> 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 <laughs>